Hi, this is Oda from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Have you ever wondered if there was a nice, easy way you could keep track of what moon phase occurs on what day and when you might see that phase in the sky? If so, today's project is just for you. We're going to make a moon phases calendar and calculator. You need to be familiar with the phases of the moon, so things like a waxing crescent or a waning gibbous. If you need to brush up on that a bit, take a look at the moon journal activity. Make a moon journal, learn a bit about the phases, and then come back here. To make the calendar, you're going to need to print out the template. The template is six pages. It's preferable to print those back to back if possible, and to use cardstock or a heavier paper. But if you need to just use regular printer paper, not a problem, it'll still work. You'll also need a pair of scissors, a sharpened pencil, and a little bit of tape. If you happen to have a hole punch lying around, grab that as well. And if you happen to have a little brass brad paper fastener, grab that too. I didn't happen to have one of those at home, so I improvised and I used buttons. So my little improvisation is to grab two buttons and a little bit of sewing thread and a needle. So do that if you don't have a brass fastener at home. The first thing you're going to do is use your knowledge of moon phases to color in the moon, little moons on the moon phases wheel. There are the names of the moon phases and you need to shade in the part that is dark so that you can see the moon phase as indicated. Next, you're going to cut out a few things. Follow the little scissors icons and cut out the items shown. If you have a hole punch, your next step is to take that hole punch and get the viewing wheel and where it says punch hole, punch a hole. If you don't have a hole punch, use your sharpened pencil, very carefully poke a hole in the middle of that circle and kind of wiggle it around until you have a circle of a, a hole of about the right size of that circle. And then cut the extra paper off so that it's a nice, clean, clear circle. Next, use that sharpened pencil again to poke a little tiny hole in the center of all three wheels. This is going to be the guide hole either for your brass fastener or for your needle and thread. Next, take the moonrise panels that you cut out and tape those to the back of the viewing panel. Now it's time to assemble your moon phase calendar and calculator. You're going to assemble it just as shown right here. The viewing wheel, which looks a little bit like a fan, a dark fan, goes on top. Then the moon phase page that you already colored in. And then you're going to set those on top of the rectangular page that you didn't cut. Line up all the holes that you poked as a guide hole and put your brass fastener through those holes and then spread the wings on the other side. Again, if you don't have a brass fastener, this is where the button comes in handy. You see what I did there? You got a little button on one side and a button on the other side. Sew them together. Works perfectly. Now I did use two different types of buttons here because they were just random buttons lying around my house. I learned that the flat button, one that's not as curved on the surface, actually works a little better and it's a little easier to keep track of. So if you have flat buttons, if you have an option, use those. If you don't, any button will work. Now it's time for you and me to use our moon phase calendar and calculator to figure out what the moon phase is today. So on the calendar, you will see dates. Find today's date. That's what I'm going to do. Found today's date, kind of center it up in the viewing wheel. Okay. And then you notice there's a, a phase that is associated with the date. It tells you what today's phase is. I want you to move the center wheel, that, that wider one, move it until you see the phases line up. So whatever the phase is on today, find the phase that matches it on the moon phase wheel. And then center those in the wheel and have it centered over the letter S. That's for south. So this is how you can see this moon phase and where it'll be 
on at what time. It tells you what time of day in the viewing wheel. And that's if you're if you're looking south, you'll be able to see it. It's kind of high in the sky usually. And you'll see the moonrise tells you that it rises in the east at a particular time and it sets in the west at a particular time. So it takes a little practice, but I think you can get used to it. And hopefully this will help you anticipate what time of day to see a particular moon phase and to be able to observe and have a good time with this. If you would like more specific instructions, take a look at this link. It gives you all the steps. Have a good time viewing the moon.